The man accused of killing four members of a Muslim family in London, Nathaniel Veltman, has now been found guilty on all four counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder. The 12-member jury deliberating for less than six hours before reaching their decision. While this verdict does not bring back our loved ones, it is a recognition by the justice system that the perpetrator of these heinous crimes is indeed a murderer and a terrorist. Grieving family members gathered outside the courthouse in Windsor after the 10-week trial recounting the horrors of what took place in London two and a half years ago. The enduring grief, trauma, and the irreplaceable void left by the loss of multiple generations has pierced us profoundly. Nathaniel Veltman showing no emotion as the verdict was delivered, guilty of killing the Avsal family with his truck while they were out for an evening stroll. Justice Renee Pomerantz told the jury a first-degree murder verdict could mean Veltman either planned and killed the victims or that it was a terrorist activity. Which one would be decided during sentencing? The judge can take her own view of the facts. The jury's decision doesn't say whether they found him guilty of first degree murder according to the criminal code, planning and deliberation, or because of the terrorism allegations. We don't know. During closing arguments, Veltman's defense attorney argued that he suffered from a number of mental disorders and the attack was drug induced. The Crown, on the other hand, argued that he had planned the attack, had recently bought the pickup truck he was driving, and the act was to inspire white nationalists to commit violent acts against Muslims. While the trial is now over, the evidence that came out of this trial so shows us that there is still a lot of work to be done to ensure that the next radicalized young man is not out there. The killing of the Absol family, which also left a nine-year-old boy seriously injured, has had a major impact on not just the Muslim community in Canada, but others standing up against Islamophobia. A feeling echoed by those left behind looking to make sense of all that has happened in their grief. That juxtaposition between the diabolical intentions of a hell-bent criminal and the love expressed by beautiful, teary-eyed strangers has become a catalyst for unity and justice. Veltman will now receive a mandatory life sentence with no chance of parole for 25 years. It's not known whether the jury determined terrorism was a factor. That's a decision to be made by the justice when the final sentencing hearing takes place. In the meantime, Shauna Hunt is in London tonight, gathering that community's feelings about the verdict. Shauna. And yes, Mark, so here the Afsal family is known as our London family, and that's what's etched into the permanent memorial that was built to honor the lives lost in the deadliest mass murder this city has ever experienced. I can tell you there's a wide range of emotion right now cycling through the community. And many are hoping that the outcome of this trial will be a deterrent against other acts, hate-fueled violence. Uh, the mayor of London today released a very raw and emotional statement just moments after uh, Nathaniel Veltman was found guilty on all counts of first-degree murder. It reads in part... No amount of justice can bring back our London family. While this represents an important step towards closure to the Muslim community and our city at large, it is by no means the end of that journey. It is one that continues and one that we will undertake together. Mayor Josh Morgan, you know, went on to say that the city of London is unwavering in its dedication to dismantling Islamophobia, racism and hate, and will spread to other communities lessons in understanding, inclusivity and love. So as you can imagine, it's been an overwhelming time for many here in London, across the country, and especially for those in the Muslim community. And while there is a sense of relief knowing that the man responsible will spend the rest of his life behind bars, many say it still does not erase the pain that came from that tragic day two years ago. In London, Shauna Hunt, City News.